Hello, it's me again and my wife over there. Um, <laughs> anyway, so what I'm going to do is like I'm going to show you how to run uh, uh, the Connect uh, from the Xbox One version 2 on the Jetson Nano using G-Stream. So uh, right now we have uh, up here, you can see here's a G, some G-Steamer commands. Um, we're going to run, this is the uh, depth data. Oh, no, there we go. The depth data. So as you can see, there's the, de the depth data is coming in. And after I go through these, I'll kind of explain you kind of what's what's going on. And then I'm going to put all this in my GitHub repo. So if you guys want to attempt it yourself, you can. So this is uh, the depth data. And this is the infrared. And... Uh, by the way, uh, I'm uh, being seated in my uh, Jetson Nano, so it might be a little uh, sketchy. So there's the infrared. And then here is the live stream. As you can see, uh, it's pretty good. It's like 30 frames a second. Um, this this one has a little bit of lag to it, but if you want to use GStreamer and connect and uh, uh, the Jetson Nano, this is the way to do it. So let's close this. I got um I got the uh, the GStreamer plugins from this website right here. Uh, this guy has some pretty interesting stuff. Um, I had to, uh, we have to load all this before we can make the plugins. Um, he's got some, uh, stereo stuff in there too. I was really, only really wanted the, uh, the connect plugins for the G streamer. And then, uh, so like I say, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in, um, my, uh, a link to my GitHub repo where I'm going to give the instructions on how I did this and, uh, and see if you guys can do it. Now there there is I the I want you to note on some things that I kind of want to make clear that the GitHub repo might not. So um, one of the things I had to do is, and I will include the modified uh, 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 program here, but I had to modify this one right here to get it to work to get on the Nano. But I'll include that. So all you have to do is just replace this one in the, the GST plugins VR folder that you're going to download as part of the instructions. So and then you just replace this with the one I'm going to supply. That's one thing you have to do. And then the other one is, is I don't know why when uh, I had to do is, you know, when uh, this is a fresh, this is the latest uh, jetpack. Um, uh, I did a fresh install and I did this all right after I installed the latest jetpack. But I noticed that the Nano and the Jetpacks, they come with OpenCV4. If you double click on it, you get uh, CV2. And then after that, there's all your uh, OpenCV stuff. I noticed for this program to compile correctly, the plugins, all, what I had to do is I had to take uh, wherever, whatever version of uh, Jetpack you have, find the OpenCV4 uh, folder. It just copy, copy OpenCV2 in the same place that OpenCV4 is. So, so that's the only way this program, when it goes to compile, it'll, fi it'll find it. Um, like I say, other than that, um, you know, it works pretty good. I, I, my next step is to uh, uh, try and uh, use these commands to run some of the deep stream programs, see if I can get the connect to run through them. So uh, I guess that's it. Um, you know, uh, that, that's about it. I'll leave you with, uh, this is the live version.
This is uh, infrared. And then this is the depth data. I see this one needs a little better mapping. I think we could do a little better with the mapping, so. All right. Uh, I guess about, that's about it. Uh, thanks. Like I say, all this will go on my GitHub repo. So you guys should try it if you want.